Hi there, my name is Helen and in this video I'll be showing you how to make a Kusadam flower. The first thing I'll do is show you how to make the one petal and then also how to assemble the petals together. Uh, you will need five altogether in the end. So the first thing to do is to turn the paper over so that the blank side is facing you and the colour side is facing down. Uh, the first step is to fold and unfold the piece of paper horizontally and vertically. Crease well, making sure that it can be seen in the next step. Okay, and then the next thing is to fold diagonally once, but don't unfold it so that you get the triangle facing you. And then you have to fold the points up to the central point, if that makes any sense. But all you do is just fold along the lines that you made earlier. Uh, in doing this, you will get a square shape with a line running through it. Okay, and the next step might be a bit hard to explain. What you have to do is take the points that you've just made and fold them so that it aligns itself with the back line. Um, if you do it right, you should get a sort of triangle sticking out like this. And then you have to make a squash fold with that fold, which is you put your finger in and then just basically you squash it down as it is. Uh, and in doing so, you should get a kite shape. And then the next step is to fold the flap down so you see a white triangle. And then you fold along the central line so that you can't see the flap anymore. And that's one side done, so you repeat the steps for the other side now, which is fold the back point so it aligns with the back line, and then squash fold that triangle to make a kite, then fold the flap down, and then fold over the central line so you can't see the flap anymore. And that's all the folding done. The next step is to glue the sides together to actually make the petal. Uh, to do this, I have a glue stick. You can use tape if you want as well. I just find glue is a bit easier. Uh, so if you just apply the glue or tape to the triangles, uh, of course with me with glue I've got to put loads on, and then you have to hold the sides together for a few seconds making sure that they actually stick. If you are using glue careful, you don't get it all over your fingers. It will make gluing the other petals really hard later down the line. So if you just hold it for a few seconds there, and it should settle in nicely. Just give it a little push to make sure it's okay. And that's one petal done there. So if you make four other petals, I've chosen to do different colours here, and you'll have five all together. So you're ready to make your flower now. What you have to do is glue all the petals together along the sides like this, how the way I'm holding it now. Uh, and that's basically all you have to do to make your flower. So what I'm doing here is I'll apply glue to the right side of one petal in copious amounts. <laughs> and then you apply the glue to the left side of another petal and then obviously you'd have to hold the sides together and stick it. So if you hold them if you hold them at the central line and then roll it over so that it sticks down. Um, the top the top part of the petal should glue together nicely. You will find that the bottom part where the where the petals point out might not hold down together very well. So if you just repeat the process with the other petals now. I have found that making this flower before and using glue, the petals do come off easily. But because it's glue, it can be put it can be fixed just as easily. I think people would prefer tape because it wouldn't do that. I just wouldn't use tape because I might tear it by accident. <laughs> And here I'm just doing the same thing again, so <laughs> hope the video is not too boring. Sticking the fourth petal down here. And don't worry about flattening the flower whilst you're holding the glue down because you c it can be easily shaped at the end when it's assembled. 
The last petal might be a little bit harder. You have to apply the glue to both of the sides at the same time. So if you do the flower first and then the petal, because if you do, if you apply glue to the petal first and then the flower, the petal might, I don't know, roll away and stick to something else. It has happened, really. Okay, so if you stick the petal down to one side first and then roll the other side over and then hold it down on the inside there, making sure that the uh, flower doesn't fall apart as you're doing that. Just give it a few seconds now. Okay, uh, seems like it's holding well now. So if you just shape it out by putting your fingers inside the petal and just sort of fanning the insides out. Not really sure what to say. <laughs> Make the petals a bit more rounded so it looks not flat, basically. And here we have it. This is your completed Kusudama flower. Uh, since since you have to repeat yourself loads of times, it's quite easy to make. So it doesn't take that long at all. But uh, thank you for watching the video here, and hopefully I'll come back with another tutorial.